So I know I'm crooked as fuck right now, but uh, there's not really a good place to hold the camera. Kind of weird. I'm going to the bank right now to withdraw forty thousand dollars. And funny story, kind of. Um, I went to go do it yesterday to to take out the money because I'm I'm giving away forty thousand for the the December contest we're doing right now. So I want to go get the money, make like a video ad, like oh I'm giving away all this money. We'll try some paid ads. We'll see how it goes. But um. <clears throat> So I went to the bank yesterday to go take it out. And before going to the bank, I just called. I was like, hey, um, I need to do like a pretty big withdrawal. Just wanted to make sure that's fine. There's no issues with that. And um, the guy's like, yeah, let me call the branch because I was talking to like some customer service person. And um, he calls them and they say, yeah, they can do it. So I was like, cool, I'll go over there. And when I get there, there's a fucking guy in a truck. He's like backed into a parking spot and he's got face tattoos everywhere. He looks like sketchy motherfucker and he's sitting there just fucking waiting and just watching everyone who walks in and i'm paranoid as fuck i'm a pussy i'm thinking did this guy hear that someone's coming to withdraw forty thousand? because they talked to the the person at the branch and he's just like sitting and fucking waiting like this guy is like face tattooed big motherfucker and so i just sat there i was like okay i'll, I'll wait till he like walks in does his shit at the bank and leaves he goes into the bank goes back into his car and sits there for fucking 30 minutes. So I was like, yeah, I'm not walking in and taking out 40,000 cash. I also have a, a watch that's fucking worth 50,000. So I'm not letting this guy get a $100,000 lick on me right now. Yeah, probably just being crazy paranoid. I mean, Utah's not a fucking sketchy place, but yeah, I'm going to do that right now. So we're at the bank, just checked. Tattoo guy's not here, so we're getting good vibes. So I have like $100,000 on me right now, basically, with the watch and the money. So I should probably just go home, drop this off before I really do anything else. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Can I get you start off with any food stories? No, I'm okay. Could I just do a quad espresso? Quad espresso? Yeah, with that over ice. Um, hot, please. So yeah, I'll be honest. I kind of thought... I kind of thought 40000 would look like more money. You know, like... I guess it's a lot. 10,000 each little slip, yeah. I guess it makes sense, but when you think of 40,000, I feel like I think of a, a slightly bigger stack, but interesting stuff. So the agenda for today is um, a little bit up in the air. There's not too much concrete plans. I need to go drop off a nice like camera microphone and um, lighting setup to the founder of Turning Hearts. Um, we're having him film a, a specific video for like the funnel process for the customers. So I got to go over to his house and drop that off. If you're not familiar, the um, Turning Hearts founder is also my Rolex AD, which is absolutely amazing because you get hooked up with pieces like this. This is my second piece from the brand, which is crazy. Like this is... um. It's a discontinued piece because of the, the new Daytona reference they're doing. They, they made some switches to the dial. Yeah, other than dropping that stuff off to John at Turning Hearts, um, I might be going live in my community group. Definitely gonna film some short form videos um, for some more TikToks and Instagram reels and shit. And then the rest of my day is most likely just gonna be like communication, um, calls with teams, emails, organizing stuff for like the, the end of the tax year. Hey, good, how are you? Good. So yeah, today's a chill day. There's nothing really um, massive on the agenda, but um, the reason I'm kind of making a video like this is I feel like everyone, it's, it's very clear, is getting sick of just kind of the same old content that everyone posts, especially in the space of e-commerce dropshipping and stuff. It's getting really bad with um, everyone just copying E-Man, and I'm guilty of it too. Like anyone's just trying to make these high edited sit down talking videos, trying to be like high value and stuff like that. And um, I think we're all definitely very sick of it. We're very detached from reality. A lot of people are making videos just to make videos and there's not really like any genuine or authentic aspect to it. My day in the life video did very well, which is it's one of the top viewed videos on the channel, which is honestly really exciting for me because those sitting and talking videos are fun and I probably will continue to make those. Um, when there's like times for it, when there's specific topics I wanna get out, where there's a well-orchestrated video that I can create with um, 
a lot of intention, meaning and value and not just kind of like posting something to post. So those will still come, but I am way more excited to sit down and just make genuine videos and just actually talk to you guys and kind of give you a behind the scenes of what it looks like into my life, which I've done with um, some of the other videos. But with these, I want it to be 10 times more candid, relaxed. Um, and most importantly, like giving you guys the actual look of what my life looks like day to day, what kind of tasks am I focused on? What are my next ventures in business that I'm trying to accomplish? What are my goals? What people am I hiring? Where are kind of my focus is at? What books am I reading? What are my daily schedules looking like each day? What food do I eat? I don't know if I already said that one. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys kind of what the process is like and throughout my days just kind of share little tidbits of information, things that I learned, things that excite me, and just talk about where I'm going and kind of give you guys that inside look. So hopefully the video is enjoyable. It's probably gonna be a long one. Um, just got the coffee, just got the money. So right now I need to script up a, a good video ad to be like, hey, this is $40,000, I'm giving it away this December. Trying to be like funny, but also not like typical ad cringe, like rent a Lamborghini, have money in front of it. Like I don't want it to be that vibe. So. Finding a good little balance between the two is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna go home, sit down and kind of script some of that out. Um, there's no real calls today. Um, I might go live in the community group a little bit later in the day, but only big focus today is kind of getting that ad set up. And once we kind of have like a good script idea for it, I might even go shoot it today as well. Honestly, this view in person is a million times better. My audio's quality's probably shit right now, but getting like turning this corner always blows my mind just absolutely insane so during the weekdays when i'm kind of in like grind mode and like taking things seriously and i want like optimal energy and i'm trying to get a lot of shit done i usually wake up empty stomach four shots of espresso just raw i know that's bizarre a lot of people absolutely can't stand espresso it's definitely like jet fuel it's not like i'm sitting here enjoying it but it gets the day going to say the least so i fast um and have the espresso and I don't eat until like usually two. Then I'll have like a light meal and then a really big dinner or something along those lines. 90% of the calories from meat. A um, little bit of cheating with some light carbs and stuff like that, but nothing too serious. Pretty close to the carnivore diet. Um, Grass-fed beefs, high quality um, organic pasture-raised eggs, good cheeses, good butters and fats, avocado, a little bit of fruit and stuff like that. So that's basically what the day-to-day -day looks like on the weekdays. On the weekend, I kind of just do whatever. I keep things still within like healthy means, but I definitely, that's the time I cut free. After each meal, sadly, been kind of getting into um, Zins. Um, I haven't tried a Zin um, in the morning on the empty stomach with the caffeine, I kind of just don't need it. Um, it definitely dials you in and helps with focus, but that would feel like a little bit of overkill. I'd probably get a little sick, to be honest. And then when it comes to supplements, this is basically all I'm taking. So I did the Gary Brecca um, methylation test, and this was something that I needed, TMG. And then just their optimized daily supplement, which I'm pretty sure everyone gets from doing it. Um, thankfully, my genetic test wasn't too bad, so there's not too much shit I need to take. And then I'll occasionally take some like Tonga Ali, lion's mane, L-theanine, magnesium, and then like apigenin at night to um, help us sleep. I'm trying to get off melatonin, which I've been taking melatonin for like years. But yeah, that's kind of everything with like the food and health space. And then um, I got to try to figure out what to do with all this money and how to make a solid video ad. And then once interest rates lower, a lot of money is gonna pour into different assets. They're gonna start printing a lot more money starting next year. And I think we're gonna have another massive bull market. And this is, this is information I've gotten from talking to extremely high level people at Capital Club, very big people. This isn't just like my thoughts. So spring 2024, most likely, obviously nothing's locked in, but around spring 2024 to the start of 2025, is going to be massive with low interest rates. They're going to print a fuck ton of money because they essentially they have to crash our economy. I know this light's fucking annoying. Sorry about the light, but um, they have to crash the USD currency to get everyone to CBDCs to the government um, regulated cryptocurrencies. All right, guys. So just got done with a really sick live stream. 
Um, just randomly popped in for like an hour and a half talking to the boys. Sorry, it's gonna be, I'm just holding it so it's shitty. Um, we're talking conspiracy theories, flat earth, fucking everything, right? We're having fun. Um, all the live streams are very um, personable. It's, it's like we're sitting in a room together. So amazing live stream, whatever, some crazy value stuff, some fun conspiracy shit. Um, yeah, very fun. Um, but it is 2.36, so it's time to get a little meal going. This is what we got in the fridge right now. Some eggs, a Red Bull, some grass-fed steaks. These new, um, oh yeah, the audio is gonna be shit. The head of production when it comes to content, my boy hooked me up with these. So I gotta try those out. We got some cheese, we got some fast twitch, really enjoy these. So yeah, I'm gonna make some eggs. These are my favorite eggs. Um, for some reason, the yolk on these, like dude, it's just tasty as fuck. So. Um, I think I'm just gonna make some eggs and maybe like half a steak cause I'm not too hungry and I hate like eating a lot on my lunch and then being like kind of tired. So I'm probably gonna cut one of those in half, cook that up with like two eggs, put some cheese on it. We also got an avocado, might toss that in. And then I might have some um, even more caffeine, which is kind of crazy, but yeah, I'm gonna go whip that up. Uh, might just have to go head on there, yeah. Lots better. Saw a stupid fucking TikTok, the sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler. Fucking stuck in my head for hours. Okay, this is the meal. Last time I did this, the juice poured everywhere. Fucked the egg up, undercooked egg. It's a little undercooked steak. I kind of like it a little undercooked. Parmigiano, oregano, whatever the fuck, cheese over the top. Super high quality meal, high quality meat, high quality eggs, high quality cheese. Yeah, like no real um, seasonings, just kind of some some high quality salt. I try to always look for the Celtic salt. Apparently that's the best shit, but um, we don't have it. We have some Utah brand salt <clears throat> that is from the Salt Lake. Um, apparently that's high quality shit. I don't know, they at least try to brand it like it is, so I just use that. I love having the, the yolk runny. That's just the best shit ever with the cheese, man. Um, this is my favorite water, I like sparkling a lot. Mountain Valley, apparently some of the highest quality spring water, it's also coming in glass. So you're not getting any endocrine disrupting bullshit from um, plastic. Then I can't lie to you guys, a dessert yin, yin. A dessert zin just fucking hits, bro. It's just that simple. Like this could be bad for me. I'm not gonna act like it's not bad for me, but the vibe, the level of intensity and focus, the relaxing aspect of it, like not promoting this at all, but this has kind of been my guilty pleasure as of late. Definitely, if you're health conscious, don't fucking pick up Zins, bro. Like whatever, caffeine's enough. Don't go down that path if you're if you're really trying to focus on your health. It's just dumb, like being hooked on any substance, even being hooked on caffeine is not ideal. Really good video I'd like to plug to you guys, actually, I'll put it in the description. Um, What's his name? He's the flow state guy. What's his name? Ryan Doris, okay? Ryan Doris is a real, a real G. Ryan Doris, he has a video on caffeine. I'll link it in here. Really good video. It talks about like the, the commandments of caffeine, the do's and don'ts, the big things you need to focus on. Um, I totally view caffeine as a tool. I don't think I'll ever not have caffeine. He talks about doing tolerance breaks in the video, which is definitely important. You have to tolerate, do tolerance breaks from basically anything in life, but I mean, dude, I've been having like 200 milligrams of caffeine minimum since like high school, like daily. I'll be honest, I haven't really done tolerance breaks. I think since high school, who even knows how many years, six, seven years. But since I got into caffeine, I probably have had six or seven days, like maybe one day a year of not being on caffeine. I don't know, man. I just don't think I really give a fuck. The tolerance breaks should definitely happen. I should just quit being a bitch and do that. I don't know, man. I just don't think I give a fuck enough, you know? Also in the comments, let me know if you like videos like this. Because truthfully, I think this is more, I mean, obviously this is my authentic self, but like this is way more fun than me fucking scripting out a video, trying to be E-Man Godzy. It's kind of funny, even the fucking Laura Pianas. Laura Pianas in the watch, so. Maybe some things never die. But truthfully, like stressing out, oh, I gotta get a video upload, we gotta upload once a week, we gotta have this high quality animations, all this shit, blah, blah, blah. It's not authentic, it's not ideal. 
So if we could, um, I don't want to say like get good views on videos like this, but if you guys enjoy these videos, that's a fucking win-win for me because I genuinely enjoy sitting and filming and talking with you guys like this. Like I just got off like an hour and a half live stream with all the boys in the community group and it's like, we just fucking vibe out. Like I'm talking about the live streamers I think are cringe, why the earth is flat, all these conspiracy theories. And then at the same time, we're talking about very in-depth cutting edge e-commerce information how to find these winning products, what type of ad structures to do, how to raise your AOV, all these amazing things with business. So it's like, we're all making good money. There's plenty of people that are going through the December contest I'm doing right now, which is that 40,000 for the giveaway. I'll grab it just because when else do you have $40,000 $40, in cash? Giving away this to all the community members this month. Um, I'd love if you guys joined, no pressure, I don't really give a shit, but we're giving away $1,000 every single day. So you have amazing odds um, inside the, the mini course that I made. So. Basically the December contest is this, where we have a free mini course that's only available to community members. So when you go sign up for the community group, you get access to this brand new mini course that teaches you exactly how to make six figures in the month of December. Very good information, how to find winning products just for December, what ads to make just for December, what offers to create just for December, how to design your website just for December, like really good value packed mini course, mini series, teaching you everything I'm doing with the brand Turning Hearts which um, with Turning Hearts, we've done, um, I think almost 36K this month so far. It's December, I'm fifth right now and I'm filming this. Okay, so 35.7. Wow, there we go. That took actual hours. 35.7K for the month so far in five days. Um, honestly, like, I think this brand can go to hundreds of millions. Um, I, I really think it has the potential. Good teams, good members. I really have so much insight and knowledge and experience that's like perfectly tailored to this brand. I really like the co-founders. Everyone's really cool. Um, there's no one really out here doing this. We already have so much sales, so much content coming in. Organics crushing. We haven't even dove into paid ads fully. Once we dive into paid ads, it's gonna be half a million a month. Like so stupid easy. Get a good email marketing team, go to SMS team in there, getting a lot of retargeting stuff, getting the LTV up, AOV up running larger campaigns, doing trade shows in person, working with massive influencers. It's just like too easy. The brand's too cool, the emotion's too cool. Oh yeah, I gotta go to, um, I gotta go to the founder's house. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go do that, I might film that. I don't wanna like throw a camera in their face, but they're pretty chill. But yeah, that's kind of on my day so far. It's been three o'clock. It's a, it's a 312 right now. So basically all we did today is go to the bank, film some content, um, do a live stream. That's about it. A lot of my day is kind of um, just like, oh, email here, text message here, Discord message there, um, plan some content out, film some shit. I think the biggest thing today was just like filming all this. But yeah, honestly, my um, wind down for a little bit, watch um, a little bit of YouTube. I always try to find um, things that inspire me and like actual meaningful content, um, not just watching like bullshit stuff. We'll most likely be going to the gym later, dropping that shit off to the founder so he can film a video for us. He needs um, one of my side cameras, a tripod, and then one of the studio lights I have. So we'll get that done. Yeah, kind of chill day. And honestly, I end every day playing some video games. So I've filmed that. I've been playing Overwatch a little bit, playing um, RL Craft, not in Minecraft. So fucking cringe. Really fun though. Really fun and enjoyable. Video games are a big part of my life. Play Counter-Strike a little bit. Yeah, I'm just honestly, like I played RuneScape. Like if you had a pie chart of my life, like RuneScape is like 30% of it. Probably as much as I've slept, I've played RuneScape. It's, it's fucking cringe. Second grade all the way to like college basically. So yeah, video games are a massive part of my life. Like honestly, RuneScape was where I learned how to like grind. And I feel like I'm a RuneScape character right now. I'm um, living my life, making this money and kind of grinding and leveling up my character level. Like if there's a level floating above my head, you know, um, working on getting that level up, getting that money up. Like that's that's what it feels like. Like we're in a game. Um, all this is, is just bullshit, you know, we're in like a matrix, but these are some of the vision boards. I've made over the years and it really just kind of feels like a video game you know like i've seen a lot of these come true this was the um first one i ever made don't have a g-wagon obviously don't live there went to italy for my first tattoo um that's jay alvarez's tattoos i go to his tattoo artist um i made this in high school um i could easily afford these cars i just don't really want them got my scuba diving license didn't even plan to got minimalistic tattoos Went to Javers Tattoo Artist. I would love to get a Lamborghini someday. I've traveled to Thailand. Um, I've literally traveled to a place that has a statue just like that in Phuket. I've been to villas almost identical to that one in there. Um, I have that eye tattoo. Not to a T really. Right there. I designed all these tattoos myself. Spent honestly like 30K on my on my tattoos on my arm. But like um, a lot of this stuff has come true. And like every year I'll just kind of make a new one. And I don't know, man. Like it's it's life is so in your control. 
It's all in your mind. It's all like your entire life is dictated by these things. Your identity, how you view yourself and what you truly deep down believe you are. So your identity, biggest factor in controlling your life. Seconds, your belief systems. So if you believe you're a loser, you believe life's hard and money's hard to get, that's dictating really big, but your identity is still more powerful. Next is your um, emotions. So how you emotionally fuel things. Emotion is kind of like mana. It's kind of like magic. Um, it's like casting spells. So if you can wrap your desires in emotion, positive high frequency emotions, you're able to create gravity around things that um, bring them closer to you. So identity, belief systems, emotions, and then your actions, obviously, but your actions are at least important. I'm sitting around most of my day, not really doing too much, making multiple six figures um, a month. So, and obviously I've earned that. I fucking sat in this office for seven years, working like a bitch for 16 um, hours a day quite literally. Um, a lot of people don't know. I also even had a YouTube channel. I posted every single day for like two months and my biggest view video, I think was like 2K views. Um, I deleted them all. I wish I didn't. But um, yeah, that was here in this office. Like everything's been a long um, time coming and to see everything come together is amazing. But um, actions aren't that important. Your identity, your beliefs, your emotions are way more important. And then the actions, obviously you need to do the um, actions when you're in alignment with these emotions. That's the big key factor. But man, this video is going to be long with all these rambles. See, I'll cut it off here. Um, just kind of enjoy myself, watch some YouTube, maybe play some games, and then um, get back into work maybe like an hour later. Some guy's revving his fucking Honda Civic with a fucking aftermarket bullshit on it. Okay, anyway, I'm going to the gym right now. It's it's 540, so it's going to be hell at the gym. I go to Lifetime, um, and yeah, it just gets fucking busy as hell with people there. Also, I didn't have to go bring all the shit to the founder of Turning Hearts. We're just gonna go with like a, a genuine organic phone video vibe, so didn't have to do that. But yeah, going to the gym today, I did shoulders yesterday. Um, I'm all over the place with the gym. I'm honestly not consistent, but I have been going to the gym for a very long time. It's just a consistency thing. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a little bit better on the diet than I am on going to the gym. I don't really lift crazy weights. I'm definitely not gonna bring the camera in there. I know this is like a Sam Sulek, if that's even how you say his name, type video, but um, I'm definitely not filming in the gym. That's just not me. But yeah, my days are, are pretty chill like this. I'll usually have like two, three, four main objectives for the day. And then um, I really like to just let pl um, days play out. Like I know a lot of people are trying to like optimize their time perfectly and do like the boxing schedules of, oh, two, two to four, I have to get this done. And they kind of box their days up and stuff like that's like fucking great. I just hate schedules like the live stream I did today. I just I can't be tied down to a schedule at all. If I know I have to do something, it makes me not want to do it so bad. Like everything has to be a conscious choice in the moment for me and like schedules and time frames I really hate. It's probably from like school and shit where I started getting that type of vibe. Yeah, like the live stream I did today was just, hey, I'm going to pop in. I have an hour and it's quiet at my house. Like that's, that's basically all that is. So um, yeah, my days are very chill. I wake up when I want, no real alarms. If anything, like an eight o'clock alarm so I don't sleep in a ton. The only real strict discipline stuff is um, like obviously saying no to a lot of shitty entertainment options, self gratification, stuff like that, food. And that's the type of discipline. But honestly, with my time, I do like to enjoy it. And my freedom is kind of my biggest thing. I would take freedom over money. So that's my biggest thing with that is my days. I really like to play them out. If I'm in a massive focus um, energy, I will sit and focus and work for 10 hours straight with genuinely no problem. That happens a lot. And sometimes I want to do two hours of work and just fuck off for the rest of the day. So that's kind of how my days are structured. Um, this video is probably long as fuck. So I don't really want to ramble. Almost just saw an accident, like five people ran red lights. Um, yeah, I don't want to ramble. I don't want to make this like a four hour fucking video. So I'm going to go hit the gym back and biceps and then, um, probably just fuck off for the rest of the day, play some overwatch, maybe some RL craft, just kick it with the boys on discord. That's about it. So, all right, boys just finished up with the gym. Um, honestly, my pumps are never fucking crazy. So I'm not going to act like it was some crazy ass pump. But um, yeah, just finished up the gym, it was good. Um, I randomly had the feeling to like talk about um, something I recently did. I didn't speak on it too much and I don't like want to speak on it too much, but I think it's a big thing that most people strive for in their life and it was definitely a motivating factor. Um, behind like everything I did with business and, and stuff is um, I recently retired my mom and um, I'm paying the mortgage. Um, I still live with my parents, to be completely honest. I live with my mom. I have a little brother that, um, he's a half brother and his, um, his dad is a something else to say the least. So I'm kind of like a, a father figure in a way. 
um, staying around with him and honestly just haven't really had like a reason to move out, but I'm, I'm paying the mortgage there. I have more than enough space, peace, free time, like not complaining at all. But um, I know like most people want to get into business and money to help their family out and to retire their mom and do things for their parents. And I just kind of wanted to speak on, I honestly don't even have anything like planned to say or any like direct message, but um, it's a crazy feeling. Like uh, my mom's been through everything you could imagine, like absolute hell. And I mean, so have I, like we've all been through so much. And um, I, I mentioned she was in a bad accident and the fact that she was like still working and not to like share too much details, but like her, and I'm not going to, but like her still working is definitely something that, um, hit my ego like my it was on my mind all the time and so the fact that I was able to like give her that relief and freedom to to be just a mom full-time and to just live her life um is a crazy feeling for sure it really is and to be able to take care of the mortgage and be able to give her a card that she can just use on whatever she wants you know what I mean like there's not some limit on it or anything like that if she needs something she can get it and um I I'll be honest, it was a massive motivator to get things done. A lot of it was just like, I wanted to do things for myself too. So I won't say it was like the only motivator, but now having accomplished that and seeing the level of importance it really has. And like, I don't know, I just can't express enough how meaningful something like that is. And um, it, it's definitely well worth any trial, any challenge you're gonna go through. I mean, my journey was, like seven years, something along those lines of being at the point of being like a massive stoner. Honestly, I was a complete loser. Very depressed too, honestly. Um, I'd never say anything on the on the lines of like suicidal because I'm just not that type of person. I never would. What am I seeing here? Some guy's walking out of his fucking car, I know. That's great. Um, yeah, but things were dark. Like I, I remember there being distinct moments in my life where I'm like, I can't see the light anymore. Like this shit is fucking awful. And to be at this point, and like my parents always believed in me and stuff. It wasn't like nobody believed me. I had to do it all myself. So to have that support constantly and to, to be able to provide in that way is, is just such a beautiful full circle moment. And like, just trust me, whatever stage you're at at your journey, like it's really not a big deal. Like everyone goes through the early stages. Like just don't be hard on yourself and know that it's extremely possible to achieve shit like this. Like there's fucking 15 year old kids making multiple six figures a month on Snapchat. You know what I mean? Like there's just so much opportunity. There's so much potential. You don't have to be a genius either. You really just have to be dedicated. Um, it just needs to be at the, the front of your mind 24 seven and you need to, like I was saying before, back it with the identity, emotion, belief, actions, all that good stuff. And um, anything's really possible. So be light on yourself. Um, know that shit's possible and, and keep those motivations at the front of your mind always and um, you really can achieve absolutely anything Truthfully like um, so many miracles can just just happen like that and there can be so many droughts of like Five years no success three years no success and keep in mind like things are a long journey Everyone has their own divine timing of when they get rich like some billionaires didn't even start their first business till they were 30 or 40 so like just be light on yourself be easy on yourself absolutely anything's possible and um trust me any challenge you're going through any like dark fucking period you're in is just to be as simple as possible just get over it um and i'm not saying that lightheartedly like i've dealt with so much like genuinely from the bottom of my heart and there were so many times where i, I didn't think i would make it out of just like my family situations my life situations and my my mental states and i felt so isolated at times and um just get over it, man. Honestly, like um, people have it a lot harder. Like there's some kid that's like, uh, there's some kid that's wondering if he's gonna eat tonight, if his parents are gonna fucking blow up in some war. Like, there's so much bullshit and poverty and awful situations and people going through traumas and straight up tortures of a life that's just so much worse than yours. So to just cut it, cut all the bullshit and just keep it frank like just fucking get over whatever problems you have and understand that whatever frequency you're operating out of if you're at a low frequency if you're down 
and you're doing work in those frequencies, like you're, you're putting ceilings over yourself and, and quite literally limiting your progress in an unbelievable way. So get over your bullshit, um, focus on yourself, understand that anything's possible and just kind of quit being a bitch a little bit. Honestly, like that's kind of how it is. You have to get rid of yourself, get rid of your own ego and understand that you're doing things for something bigger, for a life bigger, for abundance. And you have to fill your cup so you can um, fill everyone else's. So that's kind of my tangent. I'm home. Um, I'm probably just going to fuck off and play games, um, go shower, kind of get cozy, just kick it with the boys. So that's my little rant. Thank you for listening.